I've lived in Park Green all my life and we as the young people feel that the older people see us differently to what we're really like. So we've decided to make this film about the different perceptions that we have of each other. So, I be you, you be me. Hello, my name is Pauline, I'm 60 years old and I work as a dinner lady in a primary school. As an adult, are you intimidated by a group of young people? Well, I'm not worried in the, <laughs> in the day, but it's the night that concerns me. As an adult, what do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I take out my dogs, Bill and Ben, for an afternoon stroll. As an adult, what do you use the internet for? Well, I don't use the internet, but I ask my daughter to do an online shop for me. Hello, my name is Alison and I'm 62 years old and I'm retired. As an adult, are you intimidated by a group of young people? Sometimes I'm concerned if they look nasty. As an adult, what do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I like to watch Countdown. As an adult, what do you use the internet for? Only if I need to find some research, but my son does that because I'm 62 years old. Hello, my name is Edmund. <laughs> and I'm 64 years old and I'm a farmer. As an adult, are you intimidated by a group of young people? To be honest, they don't really bother me as I'm on the farm so much. But when I do go out, it's usually in the evening. And when I see big gangs, it's a bit frightening. As an adult, what do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I like to cook, my lamb and sheep. But as I spend so much time on the farm, I uh, don't have much spare time. As an adult, what do you use the internet for? The internet? Uh, it comes in handy for selling my sheep on eBay, does not it? Sometimes, you know. But they do pick them up in their sheep trailer. No po posted on packaging included. Now that we've heard from the older residents of Packerine, let's hear what the younger residents have to say. Hey, Ridian. How are you? How are you? I'm alright, thanks. And how old are you, Ridian? I'm 17 and a half and I've just passed my driving test. Oh, great. As a young person, what do you do on the weekends? Well, it all depends who's around. If my mates are around and if I'm going away with the family, I just hang around the streets or possibly go to the cinema. Um, I do play a bit of rugby, but uh, on the whole, it's uh, yes, gather and just go around with my friends. And as a young person, how do you think the media and the papers represent you? Not very good. They say they, um, they only publicise the bad stories, and there's a lot of youngsters in the area who, who do good stories, and they don't want to know about that. This uh, sensational uh, publicity, and I'm not very happy with the media myself. Okay. And as a young person, do you think you have more opportunities than your parents and your grandparents had? Yeah, I think we do, um, because uh, in, in this time we've got computers, we've got satellite television, we've got more opportunities with, with work opportunities, different, um, different, different sort of employment, yeah, I definitely do. Hey Stephanie. And how old are you, Stephanie? 16. And you still at school? No, backed off school. Actually excluded. Bash this bloody girl in the face because you fancy my boyfriend. Okay, and uh, what do you do on the weekends, Stephanie? Oh, brilliant weekends. I do text my group, my gang. I do NCM them as well. If I can't get hold of them, by text. And we go into Ammonford and we go on the rob. And we rob things like booze and other things that we can sell for drugs. Then we go to the park, we do a bit of strutting in the park, do a bit of graffiti. Then we, we drink a few ciders. Do, do a bit of drugs. Then, oh. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 wicked. Then we get even more bad. And then we go down and down the streets and we bash people's wing mirrors off. Get even more blooded until we can't see anything, and then we sleep it off the next day. Bit That's of an eventful event. weekend then? Yep, every weekend. And how do you think that the media and the papers represent you? Media? You know, like the papers and television and the news and stuff. 
Yeah, what you want? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Media. Papers. Yeah, they think we're all bad. We're not all bad. Some of us are. We all got tarred with the same brush. Mm. Okay, and do you think that you have more opportunities than what your parents and your grandparents had? Mm, I think so. Yes, 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 because I finished school now, so I can go on the door so I get money. Still don't go, don't go on the rob as well, so I get some more money. And if I get caught, the police only give us a caution anyway, so, you know, you just go out and drop again. And, yeah, I've got the boyfriend. Get pregnant soon, or a baby. Get some more money, and then get a free house as well. Yeah, yeah, certainly better than my mum and my grandmother did. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tom. Hello. And how old are you, Tom? I'm uh, 16. And are you still at school? Yes, I am, yes. OK. Um, as a young person, what do you do on the weekends? Um, I, uh, uh, I got a little job on Saturday morning, so I do that, get some money, and then uh, I go home and uh, I go and I get ready to go with my mates in the night then and spend the money I earned on Saturday morning. <laughs> and as a young person, how do you think that the media and the papers represent you? I, I, I don't think they're very nice to us. Mm -hmm. I think they all, they don't like us and they all, people think we're really dangerous and... Yeah, we're not. Okay, and as a young person, do you think that you had you have more opportunities than your parents and grandparents had? Uh, some, I think. Like, I think you know, I can go on holidays to France or Turkey, and I don't think my parents could do that. But like, like my dad could have an apprenticeship, and mm. he could uh, go straight into a job at sixteen. And if I leave school, I won't get a job. So, I, I don't think we got as many opportunities. I am now joined by Hugh Evans. What do you do, Hugh? Well, I'm a county councillor, a town councillor, and also the mayor of Amford, and I represent the Amford area and Pantafanon area. So, after seeing the playback of the young, younger residents impersonating the older residents, what did you think of their perception of you? Part of it is true. Um, the, with regards to the youngsters on the street, I mean, that is, it can be intimidating. But uh, at the end of the day, it's the perception because they, they, I don't think the youngsters, 90% um, of the youngsters are, don't, are not that sort of, sort, you know, they're not the violent or mischievous people. It's just unfortunately the perception of, and that's the perception you got through the newspapers and things. Yeah. Hi, my name is Cara Cadsman. I'm semi retired. I work three days a week selling money, foreign exchange currency that is, in the local travel house in Ammonford. And I'm also a town councillor. My name's uh, Jonathan Thomas and I'm a uh, minister of one of the local churches in Armford. Okay, now that you've both watched the playback of the younger residents impersonating the older residents, what did you think of their perceptions? Well, the perception as far as intimidation with groups of youngsters, I can understand because during the day it's not so bad if they're in groups because it's daylight and there's a lot of people around. But in, in the night, especially if they've got hoodies on, you can't see their faces properly. It can be very, very intimidating. And, you know, it imitates like pack of, packs of wolves then to me. Yeah, I thought it was really good that they were so aware of the kind of impact that it has on um, people. Because I think, you know, in the day you don't mind big groups of people, but in the night when it's dark and there's no one else around, it can seem a lot more um, intimidating. Even if they're not trying to cause trouble, you know, they're just standing there because there's nowhere else to go. It just, yes. it is very intimidating. Spare time, I don't get much spare time, to be quite honest. Um, between my other commitments with Communities First and the groups uh, with the Town Council um, and I've never watched the countdown so. Yeah I thought that was really interesting that uh, they didn't really know uh, what kind of older people did um, in the day. Um, I, I think most people don't watch countdown anymore um, but it would be interesting for them to find out what people do. And as far as IT goes, I think that's a complete no-no, although I'm not quite 60 yet. Um, the first thing I did when I finished full-time employment was to actually uh, go on an IT course, and I did nearly two or three years of it. And it was surprising how many of the older generation were actually there, because it's an up-and-coming thing going into the 21st century. And a lot of shopping, etc., is done online now. So, yeah, I disagree with that. 
Hello, my name is Ria, I'm 11 years old and I go to Alma Valley School. Hello, my name is Laura, I'm 13 years old and I go to Alma Valley School. Okay, now that you've watched the playback of the old residents, what did you think about what they said that you did on the weekend? Um, some people do go out to work, but some people do go out town like, and they do get drunk. I agree with the older ones because young people do go out on the weekend and don't really care about their education to get a job in the future. OK, and what about the questions about the media and the papers? What do you think? Do you think they were right in what they said? I think they are right because when the media are talking about children and teen teenagers, they make, they make it sound all bad. But when we do like something good, they, don't, they just see it as a bad way. I agree and disagree with the older residents because um, some people do are bad and they put it in the news and some people aren't spoiling things for other people. Okay, and do you think that we have more opportunities now than what the Um Yeah, I do think we've got more opportunities. Like Carly was saying that some people have kids just so they can have an extra £30 a week, but they see it as money to go out and have drinks and they just abandon their children, like, on their parents. But when people actually do want children, they make sure they care about them and they and they keep the money for to help them look after their children. I think we've got more opportunities now because there's technology and people... People can't just go and have children. I think they've got all money. They can just get a better job and then they'll have more money and raise the kid better than what they have done. Hey Stephanie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in the I'm a farmer, I'm 64 years old and I'm retired. Sorry, where were you uh, at? Oh, right. where were you? Bahamas. <laughs> Just listening for the sea. Where's the sea? The lapping of the waves. Oh. Two, one, action. Hello, my name is Gia. <laughs> Cuts. Fine. So, no, I disagree with that because I think they are more IT conscious than the youngsters. <laughs> That's fine through my mind, no, because my phone is on as well, so I better take, turn it off. So is this type three? Yeah. Oh yeah. Are they on our walls? Yeah. That wall is gonna fall down. No, I know. I think it was interesting that they didn't really know what um, adults did in the day, how they kind of fill their time. And yeah, I agree. I've watched Countdown since uh, how old am I? And protest. In protest, Richard Whiteley as well. It's yes. terrible. Yes. Take five. See five. <laughs> take four. <laughs> Scene 10, take 1. Scene 10, take 3. Scene 8, take 2. Scene 8, take 3. Scene 5, take 2.